So I think everyone has the dream of being an astronaut when they're a little boy, right? The idea of being up in space, looking out on these beautiful panoramics and, and the cold, airless environments that you'd be working in, kind of having that different experience. And we thought, oh, what a great way to put the player in some really unique experiences. Zero gravity in dead space is completely unique because it's realistic. And, you know, we studied you know, NASA and JPL websites. We found out how much a hand weighs, how much a head weighs in, in zero G because we wanted that realistic weight. And that was very, very important to the game. There are a few ways the gameplay in zero G works in dead space. There are places where Isaac is just in a vacuum. He's got air, but he can jump. He can jump across giant chasms, or he can walk on walls using his magnetic boots. At least 20% of the game is zero gravity. Uh, and you know, in some places, you know, you're in combat. In other places, you're, you know, maybe walking around an area. But then, you know, you have to jump from one area to another. Isaac's going to be faced with a number of challenges in zero G. Sometimes he's going to be in a completely hostile environment, out on the edge of a ship, um, being bombarded with hazards from the environment, and having to manage his air supply. At other times, he'll be inside a ship, uh, less worried about his air supply, but being overrun by the necromorphs. So going from gravity to zero G is, is different in different parts of the game. As you enter into space, you'll notice that the, the tone of the game gets cold, it gets blue, uh, the audio muffles out like you'd expect in a vacuum. And, you know, depending on whether it's airless or not, if it's also airless, there's no sound. You just hear, you know, your heart beating and your uh, breathing. So we have necromorphs that are particularly effective in gravity, uh, and some that have the ability to handle zero gravity really well. There's sort of a, a horror or, or a terror um, angle. Zero G is also a little different than regular gravity. Uh, the idea that an enemy can come from you at any angle, uh, that the floor may become the ceiling, and the ceiling the floor at any point as you jump across these rooms. So I'm on the floor, and I jump to the ceiling. The whole room will reorient. So now you're, you're on the ceiling, and you're like, OK, where was I? And you got, kind of got to look around for landmarks on where you are and kind of get your bearings pretty quickly, because if you're in the middle of a battle, you've got to figure out where you are. So you'll find that some of your strategies that you use in a gravity environment um, have to change when you get into an environment where you have leapers that are flying across the room at you. Um, you can't outrun them. They can jump as far and as fast as you can. So the, the combat changes, and you have to learn to take advantage of that. My favorite moment in Zero G was one of the one of the first times that we actually you walk into a room that's gravity and you turn gravity off and things start to float up in the air. I mean, it, it, all of a sudden you you feel like you're in a completely different world, and uh, that that was the moment that we knew we had something special.